Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing Series, and today we're gonna continue on talking about our defense. In the last four episodes, we talked about different ways to defend your head. Now we gotta remember it's kickboxing, so we need to be able to block our head and our legs at the same time. So we're putting all the different types of defense together. Now it's important to remember, even with the four that I just taught you about your blocking your head, you have to be creative the way you defend. Sometimes you might use a parry, mix with a shield, mix with head movement, so you don't have to to use one defense all the time. They can mix and match depending on how you're defending that combination and how you want to counter back. It all depends your opponent and how you're fighting and the style of fight you're bringing. So we're going to talk about a beginner way of drilling defense, an intermediate and an advanced and let's get right to that beginner drilling. Let's start with our beginner drilling and we're gonna start with basic singles. That's the easiest way because you know what to expect and you know how to defend. So we're gonna start basic with just the jab. And remember from the last episodes, there's four different ways to defend the jab. So I want you to work on practicing them. If you wanna make it really basic and really beginner-ish, you really need to start by maybe putting them in sequence. Parry, shield, head movement. Okay, I can go parry, shield, head movement. So this way you're, you're changing the way you defend and you're practicing all the different ways. Okay, so now that you have the one hand, you can go to the cross, parry, shield, and head movement. And, and we can just keep moving different ways of blocking, okay? I might slip on the inside, okay? Slip out, parry, shield, okay? Keep mixing them up. Okay, now let's go to the hook. Again, keeping it very basic and looking at the different ways to defend. So he hooked, move my feet, parry, shield, okay? I can roll. Okay. So you understand now, Pick the single, work the different types of defense from there. So that makes it still a beginner drill. The second part of beginner drilling is start adding the kicking. You can do it as a single jab and a single kick. So we're still working one and one, but this time we're working an upper body and a lower body attack. So the most basic we're gonna work is a jab and a low kick. If you want to work the different defense, go back, watch the episode on how to use the different ways to defend, and you have to go back on how to use a leg block as well. I've covered this all in my earlier episodes. Make sure you go back, learn it, and fix it. So, basic combination, parry, low block. I can shield, low block. Okay, I can slip, low block, okay? Using my different ways of defending. Okay, now the same concept, one and one. Let's go right cross, left kick. Remember I have different ways I can block with my lead leg or my back leg. Now let's take the drilling to an intermediate level. So now we're gonna start adding combinations of more volume. So we're gonna do jab, cross, hook, round kick. This allows Abiel to change levels as well. As a beginner, we knew the one angle, the one level that he was throwing at. With the multiple combinations and more strikes, Abiel gets to change levels, which makes it uh, more of an advanced combination. But the same concept, same strikes, just change in level. So let's go jab, cross, hook, round kick to start. And remember, I'm mixing. You're gonna see, I can parry, shield, move my head, and block the leg at the same time. Mix and matching the style of defense I'm using. Good. Now we're gonna change the combination. Cross, hook, cross, left kick. Same kind of thing, changing levels. Different side now.
Now to make this an advanced drill, there are no more set combinations and we can change. The idea is to be competitive. So Abiel is going to try to find holes in my defense. He's going to hit the body, there's uppercuts, there's hooks, there's low kicks. And in our beginning drills, we did a lot of punch to kick. Now we're going to get more creative. We're going to kick to punch, punch to kick, kick, punch, kick. You can mix in angles, you can mix in any style you want. And the way I like to do it is more of a combo back. He'll attack me, I attack back so we go one for one and it becomes kind of a competitive game trying to find openings being creative so Abiel and I are gonna combo back and forth being as creative as we can with our combinations the key is to learn uh, to land and tighten up your partner's defense find those little holes okay so combo back and forth I will start Abiel will follow There you have it, mixing and matching all the different types of defense. It's really important you don't stick to one because that's gonna allow your opponent to understand your distance, their rhythm, your timing. So it's really important you mix and match and always change up the way you def defend. Move your feet, shield, head, parry, so many different ways, mix and match. And remember it's kickboxing, you gotta be able to mix your head defense with your leg defense. Even though you block your head, a lot of damage happens if you don't block those low kicks. So keep looking, keep learning. And remember, even though you're a professional fighter or you might be a really advanced high level amateur, it's okay to go back, work the basics, drill the basics. I still every day like to work that single punch defense, come up with different counter attacks, maybe different ways of moving my head. And we're gonna continue to work on learning to move your head and defend with the idea of countering. It's okay to move your head, it's okay to defend, to survive, but this is fighting. You wanna be able to defend and counter back more successfully than your opponent does. So, if you like these videos, make sure you continue to like, subscribe. I'm gonna be starting a question and answer in the near future, so make sure you put your questions and comments below. And just keep enjoying, make sure you like the guys behind the camera at DB Vault and all the bazooka gear, even though I'm not wearing one today, can be bought at bazookasquad.com.